Well, howdy everybody. Well, guess what? I just flubbed up the last video. <laughs> I uh, was doing them uh, lug nuts for you guys in the last video on this truck. And I pressed the wrong button and it shut off on me. So, I guess I'll start a video, a new video. So this video, might as well show the uh, process of doing the rear brakes on this truck, maybe. So maybe I'll do that now. So I'll go ahead and show you where I'm at on this thing. Let's go over here on the other side. This is a 2004 Dodge. One ton dually that I have to do rear brakes on. So, like I showed you guys, I had to take the wheel off on this thing. And uh, I want to take the, you got to take this uh, center hub off here so you can pull the axle out. And there's a snap ring in here and a cotter key and a nut that you got to take off. So you can take this whole assembly off. So anyways, what I want to do is, I, want, I just want to, I want to show you guys a few things, because I've been like this my whole entire life. I don't buy extravagant stuff. I don't buy fancy tools or things to lay on or things to put my tools in, stuff like that. This thing right here, I'm going to use it. That's something my brother found a long time ago. It's just a, I don't know what it's made out of, some kind of a, a, a fiber board or something. He called it a construction construction board. As you can see, I've painted on it before. I just use it, lay it here here on the ground, use it for a placemat. I got a, there's a bunch of these here. I got probably 20 of them or so. So I, I grab one and just throw it on the floor, ground here, so I can lay on it. Something simple, something easy to take, get, no problems. Now, as far as when I take these bolts out, I don't buy the fancy trays and the all that garbage and stuff. What I end up doing is I take the meat trays. I clean the meat trays up, I save them, and I use them to throw bolts in. <laughs> I mean, it's it's recycling stuff to use. That's the way I look at it. I I reuse things that I could possibly use. It's this nice tray. It, it's it's reusable. It held meat in it. You know, at the grocery store, you, you buy it, bring it home. What else do you do with it? It's styrofoam. You throw it in, you throw it away in the trash, and then it goes into the landfills and fills up the landfills. Well, guess what? I save them. And use them for stupid stuff like this. You know, you can throw them away later after I tear them all up. So that's what I do with that. With my tools. with You know, I put tools in them. and put, But uh, mainly I put bolts in these things. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these off real quick. I'll probably use the uh, sieve them on this. i got to get the, uh, i got to get the socket. Okay, everybody, let's see if this sieve them. I'll take these bolts off here real quick. Well, yes, they will. Yes, it will. They're just 916. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a little rough. The sieve's getting them. I mean, yes, granted, if you had a bigger gun, which I do. I mean, I have a bigger gun, but I'm just putting this to the test. See what it does. Yeah, I've done enough here. I've done three with the sea of them. Let's go with the Craftsman next. So yeah, I'm back. Let's go with the Craftsman here real quick. Where are we at here? Let's go with this one. Well, of course, Craftsman will get it. That the sea of them is at 320. This is at 350. So yeah, the, the Craftsman should do it easier. Yeah, if I get it on here. Is it rounded off or what? No, it's, it's all right. I just don't have the socket on there right. Well, you get the picture. Let me go up here and get this. There we go. Get it on here. Yeah. Craftsman doing it just fine. Let's get. Let's grab the uh, skill. Well, I just found out why I couldn't get the uh, socket on here. It's got a bigger bolt right there. So somebody's been, like I said, somebody's been into these before. And somebody lost the bolt. Now I gotta find it. I gotta get a different socket here to do this. There's a skill. Skill simply does it. It's no problem. But there we go. I gotta get the. I gotta get another socket for here. Okay, I got the right socket. So like I said, these were three, nine sixteenths head. This is a five eighths head. I got the old skill here on this. The five eighths on. Oh yeah, it's simple. Took it right out. And I got something else I want to show you guys real quick. You know, I say I, I buy the cheap tools and everything. Don't have the expensive. <laughs> Look at here. 
Looky here. This is a snap-on socket, by the way. <laughs> uh, I, I've had these sockets. This socket set. This is a, a, a SA set. Deep impacts from half to one inch. I've had them sockets for over uh, 25 years or so. So, yeah. I got them. But let's get these out. I don't want to take them all the way out now. Because next step, I want to get the uh, caliper off. So, when you get the caliper off... Let me get the tools. Oh, by the way, this thing's going to drip. So what I'm going to do is I got a I got a clear plastic tray here. I'm going to put underneath here so I can catch catch some of the oil coming out of this thing. And there we go, just in case. Uh, let me get my tools. So first thing I usually do when I do these brakes, grab me my uh, maximum gear wrench long reach ratcheting wrench with the offset head get in here and i'll break these uh caliper bolts loose which is very simple not hard at all i don't have snap-on tools my my lady parts hurt i don't have expensive tools <laughs> oh well that's okay I make the same money as everybody else. Then what I want to do is go in here and I want to pry the pistons back a little bit. So I'll get in here and try to get these pistons pried back just a little bit. Get the, I want to replace the pistons anyways. But I just want to loosen them up a little bit. I'll get that done here. So see, once I get the thing loose, it's nice and loose on there. I got the, piston, I got the pistons pulled back so now I can pull the caliper off of here. So I've already got them pull, pushed back. If I wasn't replacing the calipers, I'd push them all the way back. And then you already have them pushed back. You don't have to worry about anything else going on. I know the other side's bad. So just get these uh, bolts out now and get the caliper off. <laughs> 